you stop spinach onion soup? Oh, yes, it's a new one they brought out, isn't it? Do you like it, then? I'll let you know when I've tried it. I'll take four tins, if you don't mind. Yeah, I've got a new box in, but it won't take a minute to open it. One of your people around to see me yesterday. One of my people? You know, one of them nosy parkers that comes around wanting to know why you buy more of one sort of stuff than another. Wanted to know what I had for my dinner on Friday. Brains, I said. Brains? She said, I said, yes, brains. I said, and if you don't know what brains are, you better be moving on to another job. Good afternoon. Well, there's your four tins of soup. There's your four coupons. Well, that's I'll be with you in a minute, but I'll only need two coupons, you know. One free tin for each coupon with each one you buy. Who said anything about buying? Well, that's the arrangement, you see. One free one with each one you buy. Don't say anything about buying on here. It says exchange this coupon for one free tin of spinach, onion soup, quite plain and simple. Yes, but at the bottom there, in small print... Oh, I never read small print. Do I get it or don't I? Well, yes, if you buy one. Oh, it's one of those, is it? Well, it's to see if you like it, see. Oh, well, that's a pity, isn't it? Because I shall never know now, shall I? Well, don't you want them? Indeed I do not. They're not making the guinea pig out of me at my own expense. I'll take a quarter of mint tumbles. I'll have to open the new bottle in the back. Oh, and I'm not in no hurry. You can uh, serve this chap if you want. Oh, I won't take a minute. Well, how are you these days, then, Mrs. Sharples? Hey, it's Tom Hayes. Hey, you know, I thought I recognised your face. I recognise yours, all right. Are you being personal? Uh, no, no, it's a compliment, really, because I've not a very good memory for faces. Oh, just so long as I know. What brings you up here? Oh, business, you know, business. Oh, you're down London. Where have you made your fortune yet? Oh, well, I'm doing very nicely, thanks. I can't complain. What's your line of business, then? Well, you might say my latest venture was television. Is that so? That's very interesting. You know, I'm having a bit of trouble with my side. It keeps going peculiar from time to time. Now, what do you suppose that might be? Well, that's very difficult to say without seeing it, Mrs. Sharple. Well, as a matter of fact, because it's round at her friends, but it could be arranged. Uh, you know, he could arrange it, but she wouldn't want it done for nothing, you know. It's not under a guarantee, then? Well, it might have been ten years ago. Oh, I see, yeah. Oh, of course, it's too much trouble. Not if it's for you, Mrs. Sharples, not if it's for you. Oh, well, thank you very much. I'll uh, knock on your Esther's door and I've made the arrangements. Aye, by the way, there's something you might be able to help me with. I wonder how I might be fixed with credit here. You see, I emptied my pockets for Esther, thinking I had a couple of fivers tucked away, and then I found I hadn't. Most embarrassing. Oh, never mind about that, lad. You ask her for what you want, leave it to me. Aye. Do you know, they've forgotten to put the mint on books in. Oh, they would, wouldn't they? Well, never mind, you can serve this gentleman while I have a look round. Uh, Twenty cigarettes, please. This will do fine, thanks. Oh, well, that'll be four and a penny. Uh, I wonder if you'd mind putting them on my account. I seem to have come out without any change. Oh. Put them down to Esther A's. Yes, but Esther's... Oh, well, you wouldn't know who this gentleman is. You're only new here. But this is Esther's, hus uh, Esther's brother from London. Oh, yes, I do know Mrs. Sharples. We've already met. Oh, we have indeed, yes. Well, it doesn't seem to do any much good. You know, the living credit on London, you know, they might have the odd copper for buses and that, but it's mostly credit. Very sensible, too, if you ask me. How long are you staying? Well, I haven't just made my mind up yet. It'll be nice for Esther. Right, thank you, Mrs. Sharples. Right, well, while I'm here, I'll have a packet of ginger biscuits and a bottle of sauce, and you can all oh, throw me in a half a pan of streaky baker cut then, and put it down on my account if you don't mind.